Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. Um, I've had a chance to do any crafting videos, I've got a few bits on at the moment. I'm working on some 3D prints for an upcoming Kickstarter, which I can't give you any details until later in the month. So I've got to get them printed so I can get that all filmed for you. But what we're looking at today, well, it's another Kickstarter. It must be it's a busy month for Kickstarters, I'll tell you. Um, I was a few more due in, but they've all been postponed out to December. So I won't see if they turn up. So let's have a look at what we've got today. And it is a bunch of figures from Midland Miniatures, and I love these guys. Great fantasy figures. I know in the US you've got Reaper and loads of companies. We sort of lack a little bit over here. There is some other great companies out there, but I don't know, I've got a love for Midland Miniatures and I've got quite a few of their bits. So let's put the camera down and have a look. Right, so what we're looking at, we've got some nice giant rats. So let's put it down so you can see. Nice detail. These tails are actually quite firm. It's normal worry with any model that's got a tail or a thin piece, it's just gonna be quite flimsy. It's actually quite nice and sturdy. I don't mind the style base either, I can deal with that. So, regretted to put them out. Some different poses, some tail sticking up. They've all got lovely little detail faces, they look really nice. Little different curves, they're all slightly different, there's a couple of copies. Sitting up rat. Another waggly tail rat. Grimace on his face, he's after someone. So there we go, and another one. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Right, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven rats there. Then we have some bosses, so we'll put these down here. Minions always go in the front rank, lead from the back. So we have a two headed rat. So it makes quite a nice boss type figure. All textured at the back. So he's quite cool. And then probably my favourite is this one. And um, if you can see he's got, got a skull. So he's sitting like a pile of rocks with a little skull there. Lovely details, nice and strong. So I'll base these up on 25 mil or 30 mil basis. That one might have to go on a bit of a bigger one, maybe a 40 and some nice little detail around him. Overall, I'm really impressed with it. Right, there's one last thing I wanted to do, and that was give you a sense of scale. So if you take a standard sort of adventurous size figure and put the rats up against it, you see they are quite big. So that's your standard fantasy figure. So what about 40k? So a Necron against them. So they're still a nice sized rat, even against 40k figures. Right, let's put the camera up. And right, there you have the minis, the giant rats. I don't know if they're live on the webpage yet. It's usually about a month after the Kickstarter's deliver, they start to put them up in their store section. So definitely keep an eye out for these. But have a look around while you're there. Brilliant for non-playing characters. Got all my bar people from there. Um, I've got my gnome Kickstarter, which I can have some fun with once I get them painted. So some nice garden gnomes. I've had a few bits from them in the past. My apprentices, the wizard apprentices, which is a review back along in the channel. Beautiful figures again. All their stuff is always lovely cast, good quality, clean, strong. It's my go-to company really. As I said, in the UK for miniatures. Well, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share, subscribe, get it out there. And hopefully, after I get October out of the way, I'll be coming back with some craft videos. I'm itching to get my hands on some materials and actually make something. And I'll see you all soon. Have a great week gaming. Cheers.